Now we're going to go and create our workflow that pulls this together. So now let's go to our workflows, our automated workflow section. We're going to press create a new workflow. We're going to start from scratch. Let's create a whole brand new baby over here. What's our trigger? Let's go back to our picture here. What's our trigger? What fires all of this off? It's a student joining our course. So the trigger is click on trigger. It's going to be courses over here. What's the trigger? It's going to be that somebody has signed up for our course. You see there under our courses, it says new sign up. Now it doesn't matter whether that product is a workshop, a webinar, an ebook, digital product, you're still going to be clicking this link. Somebody has purchased that thing. Okay. Now we've got to say to, say to the system, what have they purchased? So you're going to click add filters, select the offer. Offer means the checkout. Remember the offer they have purchased is the gluten-free course. Now I obviously haven't uploaded a gluten-free course into this test account. <laughs> so let's pretend that my astrology course is the gluten-free course. Okay. Cause you have to have gone and actually added your product first. Otherwise it's got no product to pick right now. Even if you've only created the title and the checkout, that's fine. It doesn't actually need to have content in it for you to set this up. Just at least go and create the title and the offer checkout and you can make this work. So if someone has signed up, what happens next? Now, instead of going straight to the welcome email, I like to just tag them just to make sure that there's a tag in the system for later on. So let's press add a tag, add a contact tag. And we're gonna say has joined the gluten free course. Add the tag and save. So now they buy it, they get tagged. What else are we going to do? Let's just send them now the web, the welcome email. So we're going to press add and we're going to press email, send an email. And down here, because we've built our email in the email builder, it's going to come up in this drop down templates area. And what did we call ours? I think it was called gluten free. There it is. There's our gluten free student check in email. Boom. So press save. So what it's done now is you are sending them the email which is you can put a note to yourself here in action name email let's call it student reminder check-in okay who is it from do you want it to say your name so i might put this from karen okay and the from email you want it to come from and then the subject of the email so i would call this checking in on your gluten free course and then press save so now someone signs up for the course, they get tagged, and then they get that email with their login details and the options to stop the reminders, or I finished, now please remove me. What we're gonna do next is we wanna repeat, if we go back to Karen's example here, she wants to keep checking in with her students every 14 days in Karen's example. Now you can check in whatever frequency you choose, here's how you do it. So we're gonna press add a step, and this is called add a wait step press wait and I'm going to put a note to self wait 14 days because Karen wants to wait 14 days in her example wait for a time delay wait for 14 days save so now it's going to wait for 14 days and then we're going to simply resend that reminder again so we're going to press add an action and this action is called go to go to click on the go to option and press save and it's going to give you this little green little throbbing kind of sign we want to go back to this email so you can see now it's created this little little track so they're going to go sign up for the course get tagged send the student reminder email wait for 14 days and send the reminder email again so we've done that that's now let's press save first of all let's now title our workflow really important guys you must be titling your workflows we're going to call this the gluten free course student check-in sequence now by the way guys you will see inside the workflows and automations playlist on the techmatics youtube channel there are lots of other examples of different ways of creating student workflows but I am just doing a particular demonstration on request today. But here we go, there's one, but there's a few things we still need to do because we haven't yet told the system what to do or how to remove people from this workflow if they either 
click the Google business link or they click the trigger link to be removed from the sequence. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a secondary workflow that is specifically fired off if somebody presses that button to be removed from this workflow. So I'm going to go back into um, Techmatics. We're going back to our workflow list here and we're going to create a new workflow. Start from scratch. And this is the workflow that's going to remove people from the gluten-free course reminders if they ask to be removed from the reminders. Now remember, we made a trigger link. So what's the trigger of this? The trigger is, I'm going to first of all name it, the trigger is that they clicked the trigger link button <laughs> to be removed. So I'm going to call this gluten-free course. Now I, guys, this is file convention naming formats. If you have a particular course, you've got sets of workflows or emails, always start them with the same lettering. For instance, this is a gluten-free course. Everything that related to this is going to be called gluten-free course dash what it is. It's just going to make it easier for you to find stuff later on. Okay, gluten-free course, remove student from course remind. What's the trigger? The trigger is they clicked a trigger link. So let's click on the trigger. The trigger is type in trigger. A trigger link has been clicked. And then we're going to say to the system, what trigger link was clicked? So click on add filters, select the trigger link is, and then type in gluten-free, stop the reminders for the gluten-free course. So um, we can also add little notes to ourselves here, remove from workflow or remove from reminders. This is just a note to yourself so you can see it in the workflow itself. Save. So they've clicked the please remove me from these reminders. I like to also add a tag here. So press add a tag, add a contact tag. And what's the tag? Has asked to be removed from the gluten-free course reminders. Lovely. Add tag, done. That's now going to save as a tag or a note in the system. Now, by the way, you can actually also add this as a note to their contact record if you want to. So to do that, you just press add a new action, note, add to notes. And you can simply say here, custom values, contact, full name, has clicked the button to be removed from the gluten-free course reminders. Just that will add an actual note inside that client's file in their notes section. Just FYI, that's what that does. Now, all we're going to do now is remove them from that reminder workflow. So let's press our final action and we're going to type in remove, remove from workflow. And is it this one or is it another one? It's another workflow. What workflow do we want to remove them from? The gluten free course student check in sequence. So we want to remove them from that check in sequence. Save. Ta da! Done. So the other thing I might like to do here, if they've been asked to be removed from the reminders, you could ask them for a review at this point as well. So I might press add an action and type in review, send a review request. How do you want to send it? By email, save. Boom. So now what we've done is we have created a workflow that's triggered when somebody purchases a course or a product. It sends them an email with their login details with the two options to either say I'm finished, which will send them to the Google business review, or they don't want to be emailed reminders anymore, which starts a new email sequence, which removes them from this workflow. That my friends is how you can create just one of any variety, unlimited possibilities of a course reminder sequence.